can I have a word with you? Here it comes. I instantly smiled at my mother in law, thinking she was up to something. What's wrong, mother? You'll be sleeping at the Japanese style room. I've laid out a futon for you. Yes, thank you. I nodded in reply, and my mother in law left with a satisfied smile on her face. Little did she know that I was already aware of what she was up to. Do you have any idea how many times I've been mistreated as a daughter in law? If you think I'm a timid wife who won't fight back, you are wrong. I'm gonna break your standing today. My name is Vanessa, and I am 28 years old. I'm an employee of a foreign company. I am always busy with something. To be clear, my work never ends. I can work overtime for hours if I want. But I try to leave the office at 8 at the latest. That's because my loving husband is waiting for me at home. My husband Sam and I got married a year ago. But we are still as close as we were when we first started dating. When I see him, no matter how busy he is with work, he is warm and kind. I immediately forget how tired I am, no matter how busy I am with work. My husband works at City Hall, and since he moved to his current section, he was worked almost no overtime. When I come home, he has dinner waiting for me every day. Oh, Vanessa, welcome back. The moment I open the door to the living room, I am greeted by the appetizing smell of delicious food and the smile of my favorite man jumped into the room. I smiled and hugged my husband. Thanks for cooking dinner for me again today. I don't mind, I love to cook anyway. But isn't it hard to do housework after work? Vanessa always does it for me. I figured I should do what I can when I can. Oh, Sam, um, okay. Thank you. Since we both work, it's only natural that we share the household chairs. Some might think so. However, my father was a very strict husband and did not do any housework. My mother gave him all the money from her part time job and did all the housework. My mother always laughing in front of me, but I knew she was in pain from time to time. Perhaps because of those memories. I still think that housework is something women should do. But my husband still took the initiative to do in the housework. I have been spoiled by his kindness. I have a good relationship with my husband. And I am a candidate for promotion at work. Anyone who had heard all this would think that my life is smooth sailing. However, I have one problem. It is my mother in law. My mother in law lives at home with my father in law, and when I went to greet her on our engagement, she gave me a kind smile. So, you're Vanessa. Well, you are a lovely young lady. Oh, not at all. <laughs> It's okay. Don't be shy. So, Sam likes a girl like you. Proposed by the man you love. And being complimented by his mother on how pretty you are. To tell you the truth, I was totally buoyant at this time. A month after I joined the family, it all started without warning. I looked at my phone during the break at work and saw a message from my mother in law Please come visit us this weekend. Thus, my husband and I headed to my in law's house for the weekend. As soon as we arrived, my mother in law said, Only I could hear her. Vanessa, could you please make some tea? Huh? Me? Yes, of course. You are my daughter in law. But I don't know where the teapots and cups are located. When I opened my mouth with some trepidation, my mother in law glared at me. I involuntarily shivered under her cold gaze. Did I just say something wrong? This is only the second time I've been here. And you're asking me to make tea. No matter how hard you look at it, that's just too unreasonable. Not knowing what to do, when my husband noticed the situation and said, 
was wrong. But before I could reply, my mother-in-law spoke up first. Oh, Sam, Vanessa says she's going to make us some tea. What? But Vanessa doesn't know where the tablewares are, does she? I made tea the last time she came to say hello. And that's what a daughter-in-law is supposed to do. A wife usually learns the rules of the house by watching her mother-in-law's every move, you know? Well, is that how it is? I don't really know. Well, if Vanessa wants to do it, why not? Yeah, well, after all, Vanessa said she wanted to make tea. She said it herself, so I guess I can leave it to her, right? Well, if Vanessa says so. My mother-in-law laughed at my husband's words and said, Well, let's let her make it then. She took me to the kitchen. I was silent, not knowing what to do. And as soon as we were alone, my mother-in-law sighed heavily. <sighs> hey, you should have said something too. You're making it seem like I'm forcing you to do this. I'm sorry, but it's just that I was too rushed. I can't believe you are my daughter-in-law. And you are working. He makes you a lousy housekeeper. But I like my job. Then, suddenly, my mother-in-law hits the kitchen table with a forceful bang. I was startled, but she gave me a cold stare. Oh, come on. As for women, when you get married, you should become a stay-at-home mom and do housework. And yet, you? How arrogant can you be? Mother, is that how you think of me? I didn't like you to begin with. A woman like you, marry my son. After all, a wife should be a quiet and submissive. A sober woman? That's not true. You just want to bully me, don't you? Mother, you're terrible. What? Don't get me wrong. This isn't bullying you. It's discipline. I want you to be a good, obedient daughter-in-law to the Smith family. No way. What flashed through my mind at that moment was my mother-in-law's smile when I first met her. She seemed too kind and gentle. She was actually such a vile and despicable person. Why didn't I realize that? I never thought that we would end up in this kind of relationship. What am I going to do now? This was the beginning of an escalation in my mother-in-law's threats to me. Every time I see her, the harassment starts. She would step on my foot on purpose or bump into me in an exaggerated manner. Not only that, but the other day, she even had water poured on me as hard as she could. At that time, my mother-in-law said, I'm sorry, my feet got tangled up. That was probably a lie too. She was running with a cup full of water and poured it on purpose to get me wet. I would soak to the skin. Each time this happens, my husband would warn my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law would just say, I'll be more careful next time. I don't know, my husband ever thought this was bullying his wife. His own mother was a little screwed up. And his wife happened to be the victim. That's all he must have thought. Since she placed the role of a good mother-in-law in front of her husband and son, her daughter-in-law bullying will not be paved. Normally, I should report to this my husband immediately and ask him to help me. But I thought by telling my husband, my mother-in-law's bullying would escalate further. I was afraid. Above all, I did not want to hurt my husband. How would he feel if he knew that his very own mother were hurting someone he loved? I would not be able to stand that fact myself. To think if I were in his shoes, I couldn't bring myself to tell him. Besides, the frequency of daughter-in-law bullying is about once a month. Even if I had to stay overnight, it would be over if I endured it for at least two days. 
all I have to do is to put up with it. I don't want to worry my husband just for that. With this in mind, I never told him about the bullying of his wife. I realized that a year had passed. Then one day, a water leak occurred in our apartment. The room was leaking in many places. So my husband suggested that we stay at my parents' house. When my husband contacted my mother-in-law, she agreed with two words. My father-in-law was away from home on a company trip. She was also worried about being alone. To be honest, I felt awkward. But I was in condition to live a normal life right now. I decided to be patient and endure life at my parents-in-law's house. I made up my mind. As soon as we arrived at my parents-in-law's house, my mother-in-law greeted us with a friendly smile. Vanessa, the bath is already started, so go ahead and get in. Unfortunately, my clothes were wet from the leak. I decided to go and take a bath first. But the moment I stepped into the bathtub, I felt a shock throughout my body. It was cold. I thought it was my imagination. But when I put my hand on the bathtub, I found it was no hot water. It was cold water. My cold body began to tremble. I had no choice but to take a shower and get out of the bath without getting warm. My husband was going to take a bath later, so he would probably notice it. I thought so. But right after I got out, my mother-in-law said, Let me go in next. She said to my husband, Probably, when my mother-in-law took a bath, she changed the water to hot water. She did not want my husband to find out that she had been bullying me. Should I just tell him everything? My heart was at the end of its rope. If I didn't tell him, my heart would break. But the fact was, if I told him, my husband would surely be shocked. While I was struggling with my feelings, my mother-in-law came to me while my husband was away. Vanessa, may I have a moment? At that moment, I knew. She was going to harass me again. Here it comes. She's up to something. Thinking of this, I instantly smiled at my mother-in-law. Mother, what's wrong? It's about the room you are going to sleep in today. There are some circumstances. I want you to sleep in a different room from Sam. Separate room? Is that right? You can sleep in the Japanese-style room. I've laid out a futon for you. Okay, thank you very much. I nodded in reply, with two answers. And my mother-in-law left the place with a satisfied smile on her face. Seeing my mother-in-law's triumphant look, I had a hunch. I knew she was up to something. At that moment, I felt a fighting spree that I had never felt before. Do you have any idea how many times you've been mistreating me? You're wrong to think that I am a timid little girl who will never fight back. I'm going to destroy that position of yours today. I said to Sam in a small voice. Hey Sam, your mother just told me she wants only Sam to sleep in the Japanese star room today. Oh really? I'll sleep in the Japanese star room. And Vanessa will sleep in another room? I guess so. Sam, you must be sleepy after all that drinking. Yeah, you're right. I have to drive tomorrow too. Well, I'll take your words for it and go to bed early. Yeah, that would be great. I feel sorry to my husband, but for once, let him take my place. I sent my husband out to the Japanese style room. Half an hour later, I heard my husband yelling from the Japanese style room. Hey, what's going on? Responding to my husband's yelling, my mother-in-law hurriedly appeared. Sam, what's wrong? What's wrong? What do you mean? What the hell do you think you're doing? What? What's wrong? You have such a scary face. Don't tell me you're trying to get away with this. That futon 
in the Japanese style room. You were the one who prepared it, right? How could you have known about that? My husband's voice raised at my trembling mother in law without mercy. Why is the food doing so wet? And why is it freezing in this cold weather? Are you kidding me? What's going on? Vanessa is supposed to sleep in the Japanese style room. What? What do you mean by that? Oh, oh, well. My mother in law, who had slipped up, was frantically turning her head, trying to fool him somehow. In the midst of all this, I appeared in front of the two of them with great vigor. When my mother in law saw me, the blood drained from her face. My mother in law's mouth was twitching as if she wanted to say something, but no words came out. I turned to my husband and bowed my head. I'm sorry, Sam. It's my fault. Vanessa, what are you talking about? I was the one who was told by your mother to sleep in the Japanese side room. I'm sorry. It's not Vanessa's fault, is it? That means she set this kind of trap for Vanessa's sleeping place. I think so. It's happened a few times before. Huh? What do you mean? Actually, your mother has been picking on me for a long time now. Bullying my wife? Not just this time. The other day, she put cold water in the bathtub. Thanks to that, I almost caught a cold. Cold water? And this time, she was going to make me sleep on a soaking wet futon. She even went to the trouble of preparing an ice pillow. When I weakly told my husband the truth, his face turned red and glared at his own mother. Hey, mom! What the hell is that supposed to mean? You said you always get along with Vanessa. Was that a lie? No, Sam. I'm trying to make Vanessa a good wife. It's part of my discipline. You've got to be kidding me. So you were bullying my wife? That doesn't make any sense. What you were doing is just bullying. It's not discipline. <gasps> Don't be so angry. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Huh. You deliberately wet the food on and even prepared an ice pillow. You're talking like shit. I can't even think of you as my mother anymore. Oh, no. Sam, please, wait. My mother in law was shaking and clinging to me for help. Vanessa, it's not like that. I didn't mean to hurt you. Please, forgive me. I did not mean to harass you. Like I said, it's part of my training. I wanted you to be a good wife. I didn't mean to hurt you. Even at this point, my mother in law would not admit that she had made a mistake. I was so disgusted by her attitude that I told her in an emphatic tone of voice The good wife that you mean is an obedient wife who listens to whatever her mother in law says, isn't it? That I'm not a good wife. I'm sorry. I don't intend to be like that. I will never forgive your abusive attitude toward me. I refuse to forgive it. Oh no. Wait a minute. You have to say something to Sam. You're making me look like the bad guy. Enough. I'm not at your beck and call anymore. I will never come here again. I will not even have anything to do with you anymore. I've failed you with all my heart. Stay out of my life forever. I will not have a twisted mother in law like you. I desert you. By the end, my emotions were exploding and I was a blubbering mess of tears. My husband tenderly wrapped me in a hug. He and I left my parents in Lowe's house and headed for a nearby business hotel. I did not want to go back to my parents in Lowe's house as long as my mother in law was there. My husband tenderly accepted my feelings. After that, my husband informed his father of what had happened. My father in law was furious when he learned of my mother in law's bullying of his daughter in law. He immediately confronted my mother in law with divorce papers. 
For the past several years, my mother-in-law had been spending my mother-in-law's money without his permission. My father-in-law had been thinking of divorcing her for some time already. This case was a good opportunity for him, and he finally decided to divorce her. My mother-in-law was reluctant at first too. However, when my father-in-law told her that he would sue her if she did not agree to divorce, she got scared. She immediately signed the divorce papers. No one knows what my mother-in-law is doing now, and she had been kicked out of her own family. Rumor has it that she wanders around the park in the middle of the night, in a state of disarray. But I do not feel sorry for her. At best, she should repent for her actions and continue to suffer. I, on the other hand, live a stress-free life thanks to my husband. I don't have to suffer from daughter-in-law bullying anymore, and I can't stop smiling every day. Vanessa, if you need to talk to me about anything, please do so right away. Since that one instant, my husband has been doing that regularly. I'm going to stop being so reserved and talk to him about everything from now on. I can't forgive my mother-in-law, but thanks to her. I was able to strengthen my bond with my husband. I would like to continue to live happily together as a couple.